Welcome to another video right here on FE Builds. Um, this is not an installation video, but it was really just an experiment that I did off camera. And uh, if you've been wondering, uh, can I fit 59 millimeter shocks to the FCX18 LC80? It is a possibility. I've got 64 millimeter tires over here by Endura and also Endura rims. And uh, it's got crazy flex now compared to what it had before. It sits quite high, and I thought uh, this would most probably affect the weight balance ratio. But uh, it's actually improved it a bit. So basically what I did was I replaced all the links with these Injora metal links. I also replaced uh, the drive shafts with the metal Injora drive shafts. And also, when you get the links, you'll see that there's actually a few options of how you can actually fit them on. I opted to go the route of uh, these uh, joints that allow flex. So I'll just put the car down and show you how each and every one of those joints can move easily. Originally, it comes with a sort of like a Y bracket over here that goes in at the top there where they're, they're connected on. And that was nice for this kind of movement, up and down. But it wouldn't allow too much. The plastic was a bit flexible. If you went that route on the metal links, then it would really restrict it to just up or down. Whereas we want this articulation. So what I did was I, if we can just get it to focus, I used these uh, joints that come in the pack of links and I use the bolts to bolt on all four of the top upper links. And uh, this is the setup that I've got over here. It's very easy to copy. You can actually pause the video if you've actually bought these and you're wondering how do I fit these. Here's a way that's worked for me. And I also had Injora shocks that were very easy to uh, set up actually procrastinated quite a bit on uh, doing this build, never even thought I would record it because I was thinking I'll have to bleed these sharks and you know get the air out and bring the oil in but uh, no it's very easy so this is about a 500 uh, CST oil that I put in and uh, it's actually so smooth it is so smooth and those dampeners are really working so if we can just drop it you can see goes down so that's really good but it's a bit heavy now uh, now that I've got these wheels on so we're gonna do a bit of a test and just see how it performs on the same course I think I might have video footage of this trying out this course prior to this and how it performed uh, so we're just gonna turn the car on and uh, We'll get into the course. The one problem that we have with this particular car is it's got a servo saver on it. I'm actually thinking that servo saver may need to be deleted at some stage. So you see the amount of articulation we have at the front. You see the tires actually making contact. Uh, you'll see on this this angle over here I've moved the steering back to straight but because of the servo saver it's very difficult to turn and maneuver it makes the turning radius of this car very very big whereas it doesn't need to do so so on the flat surface you can turn nicely but uh, once you're caught on a rock or something we've got a lot of weight on the tires at the front not gonna, you can see that amount of articulation. I'm gonna try and push the angles a bit. See if you can really just put this at its extreme angle. Thank 
table, it goes over that. So it's not actually performing bad. It actually uh, makes the ground clearance helps quite a bit. And uh, it's quite nice to actually have those pieces on. Um, one thing with this car is this button sticks quite a bit. Sometimes if sand goes in there, I have an issue switching it on and off. Um, so I'm actually gonna work on a mod for that soon. But these shocks, these Enduro shocks are so smooth. They're just awesome. And the dampening actually works. You can feel it trying to slow the speed of the compression and rebound as I'm doing this. So it's quite awesome. I'm quite happy about it. I think it just needs slightly stronger springs and then it should do quite well.